Hi, this is Mr. Short coming at you with another online band class. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so again, my name is Mr. Short. Uh, this is the online band class. This class is for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. This is session 10, entitled number 44, Oh, Susanna. So, uh, in today's agenda, we have announcements, robust vocabulary, breathing exercises, and number um, 44, Oh, Susanna. All right, first thing, uh, we got announcements. So make sure uh, you're recording your plane test. Recording uh, plane test is due April 17th. That's this Friday. Um, I'll have a, a media page so you can uh, post that. Um, go ahead and uh, make sure you have your instrument home and take home packets. Remember, it should have the correct date. The, the date for this week should be from uh, April 13th through 17th. Make sure you're sharing your robust vocabulary sentences. And this is a new one. Uh, class will be uh, going to Google Hangout starting April 27th. So we'll uh, be meeting on Google Hangout, not next week, but the next. Okay. So robust vocabulary. Robust vocabulary this week is substitute. It means uh, to replace one thing or person with another. And my sentence today is... I always substitute coleslaw for extra bread every time I go to Raising Cane's. All right, now let's go ahead and do breathing exercises. Now let's do our breathing exercises. And one, and two, and one, two, breathe in and go and in. Hold. Sit for four. Out. Sit back in. Hold. Out. Okay, guys, so next we're going to look uh, at O oh, Susanna. This can be found on page 10, number 44. And remember, go ahead and look down in the description box uh, to look for your uh, instrument uh, time step so you don't have to wor watch the whole video. Work smart, not hard. Thanks. Okay, Flutes, now it's your turn to play O oh, Susanna. This again can be uh, found on page 10, number 44. All right, let's begin by looking at some things in the music, okay? So, again, we're in 4-4 four, four time. That means the, uh, the top uh, number 4 means that there's four beats in every measure and the bottom one tells us that the quarter note gets the beat we have two flats in our uh, key signature b flat and e flat that means we're in the key of b flat all right we have a pickup note here uh that tells us we're going to start on beat four and there's actually a misprint in this music if you look on the last measure since we have a pickup note that means beat four is taken from this to the beginning and you can actually see we have four beats so we have one two for the half note and then three and four for these two rests so this fourth beat should not actually be here if we have this pickup note okay so let's pretend that there's just this half note plus this uh quarter rest that's in this last measure okay all right first thing we're going to uh name our uh, name or notes And one, and two, and one, two, three. B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, B, C, breathe. B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, C, B rest. Okay. Now 
let's play it together. And one, and two, and one, two. And that's how you play Oh Susanna. Okay, clarinets, we're going to look at Oh Susanna. Uh, this can be found on page 10, number 44. All right, so let's get uh, take a look at a few things. Uh, in 4-4 four, four time, remember the top note gives us four beats in a measure. The bottom note tells us that the quarter notes get the beat. We have nothing in our time signature. We also have a pickup note. Okay, so that means we'll start on beat four. Let's also look at this last measure. It kind of has a mistake in it. Uh, because we have a pickup note, remember pickup note is uh, some uh, note or two that starts before the first full measure, and it's taken from the uh, last measure of music. So this measure, because there's a whole beat at the uh, beginning of the music, there should be only three beats in this measure, but there is only, uh, but there's four. So there's two right here. This is beat three and beat four. That means this quarter note right here shouldn't be there because of the pickup note. Okay. So with that all being said, let's try to name our notes. And one, and two, and one, two, three. C, D, E, G, G, A, G, E, C, D, E, E, D, C, D, C, D, E, G, G, A, G, E, C, D, E, E, D, D, C, rest. Okay, now let's try to play it. And one, and two, and one, two, three. Okay, and that's O oh, Susanna. Okay, saxophones, now it's your turn to play O oh, Susanna. Again, this can be found on page 10, number 44. Let's look at the music. All right, so, again, this is O oh, Susanna. Uh, we're in 4-4 four, four time. That means the top number, the four, tells us there's four beats in each measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets the beat. We have this uh, F sharp in our key signature. We're in the key of G. Okay, we have a pickup note. So remember, a pickup note is one or two uh, notes that come before the first full measure. Uh, also, let's look at the last measure. There's actually a um, correction in the last measure. Remember the pickup note, not only being a few notes before the first full measure, remember it's taken from the last measure. So this one beat is supposed to be taken from this last measure, but uh, there's actually still four whole beats in this uh, measure. So there's two right here in the half note, one, two. Their beat three is on this uh, quarter note, quarter rest. And the fourth note, which is not supposed to be there, is the uh, beat four, another quarter rest. So actually this uh, last measure is actually a mistake because there's still beat four, which only should only be three beats because of the uh, pickup note, okay? Now, let's go ahead and name the notes. And one, and two, and one, two, three. G, A, B, D, D, E, D, B. G, A, B, B, A, G, A, rest. G, A, B, D, D, E, D, B. G, A, B, B, A, A, 
G Rails. Okay. Now let's play it. And one, and two, and one, two, three. Okay, saxophones, and that's how you play O oh, Susanna. Remember, this is going to be a um, test to make sure you record it and send it through Schoology or my email. Thanks. Okay, uh, French horn. Now, let's look at uh, O oh, Susanna. This can be found on page 10, number 44. All right, so we have our time signature, 4-4 four, four time. Remember, the top of uh, 4 tells us there's 4 beats in a measure. The bottom number tells us the quarter note gets a beat. We have 1 flat in our key signature, B flat, which is our first valve. We have a pick'em note here. Remember, a pick'em note is uh, 1 or more notes before the first full measure. And uh, down here in uh, the last measure, we actually, we actually have a misprint. Uh, remember, the... Um, the pickup note is supposed to be taken from the last measure. So this last measure, instead of having four beats, is supposed to have three. But it actually has four. We have a one, two here with a half note. We have another a beat here with a, a quarter rest. And the fourth beat right here is another quarter rest. This quarter note right here shouldn't be there since we have the pickup note, okay? So let's go ahead, and since we know all that and discussed all that, let's go ahead and uh, name our notes. And one, and two, and one, two, three. F, G, A, C, C, D, C, A, F, G, A, A, G, F, G, rest. F, G, A, C, C, D, C, A, F, G, A, A, G, G, F rest. Okay, now let's try to play this. And one, let me move my mic real quick. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, and that is O oh Susanna for French horn. Okay, trumpets, now let's look at O oh Susanna. This can be found on page 10 on number 44. All right, let's start by looking at some things in the music. All right, so we have a uh, 4 4 time signature. The top uh, number tells us there's going to be four beats in every measure one, two, three, four. And the bottom note tells us the quarter notes gets a beat. Okay? We have nothing in our time signature, so you're in the key of C. Oh, we also have a pickup note. Remember, a pickup note is defined as one or more uh, notes before the first full measure. Okay? And let's go ahead and look at this last measure. It's actually incorrect, this last measure. Since this pickup note, which actually takes a beat from the end of the music and puts it at the beginning, this uh, measure should only have three measures, three beats, but actually has four. Let's look at this. So this half note gives us two, one, two. Quarter rest gives us one. And this fourth, uh, second quarter rest was actually the fourth beat. Shouldn't be here because we have uh, this pick'em note, okay? So let's go ahead, since we know all that and discuss all that, let's go ahead and name our notes. And one, and two, and one, two, three. 
C D E G G A G E C D E E D C D rest C D E G G A G E C D E E D D C rest okay now let's play it together And that trumpet is how you play O oh Susanna. Uh, remember to record yourself and upload it into Schoology by Friday, April 17th. All right, trombones and baritones. Now it's your turn to look at number 44, O oh Susanna. This can be found on page 10, number again, 44. Okay, let's look at the music. All right, so. First thing, we're in a time signature 4-4 four, four time. Remember the top note, the top four tells us that there's going to be four beats in every measure. One, two, three, four. And the quarter note gets the beat. One, two, three, four quarter notes. Okay. We have uh, B flat and E flat in the key signature. Puts it in the key of B. <coughs> uh, we also have a pick em note. Remember a pick em note tells us, um, well not tells us, but a pick em note is uh, one or more uh, notes that come before the first full measure and remember uh this doesn't count as a measure this isn't measure one this is measure one okay so this doesn't really count as a measure it's the first full measure that counts as a measure also let's look at the last measure since the uh pick em note takes uh is taken from one beat from the uh, last measure taken from last measure to make the pick em note this uh measure should only have three beats but it actually has four it's a misprint in the music so, uh, this is one and two. Is the half note gets two beats. The quarter rest gets one beat. This uh, beat three. And beat four right here, which shouldn't be there, is this quarter note right here. Okay? So, that's actually a misprint in the music. So, I'm kind of going to be ignoring that. Okay. Let's go ahead and name our notes. And one. And two. And one. Two, three, B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, B, C, rest, B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, C, B, rest. Okay, and now... Okay, now let's see how it sounds uh, when it's played. And one, and two, and one, two. Okay, Tuba, now it's time for us to look at O oh, Susanna. This can again be found on page 10, number 44. Let's look at the music. Okay, so first thing to start off, we're in 4-4 uh, four, four time. That means the top number means there's four beats in every measure, one, two, three, four. And the bottom note tells us the chord notes are get to be one chord note, two note, chord note, three chord note, and four chord note, okay? We have B flat and E flat in our time signature. B flat and E flat. That means we're in the key of B flat. We have a uh, pick em note. Remember, the pick a uh, pick em note means 
um, that there is one or more notes before the first full measure, okay? So this is the pick'em note. Remember, the pick'em note doesn't count as a measure, so you would start the first measure to be this measure right here. So this doesn't count for anything, the measure one, two, three, four, etc. okay? And now one thing to notice about, there's a incorrect um, measure in this music, it's the very last measure. Remember also that the pick'em note takes a beat from the last measure and brings it to the um, first at the beginning of the uh, music. So that means instead of uh, four beats, this measure should only have three, but it has four, all right? Because this uh, half note gets one, two, this quarter rest gets B3, and this other quarter rest, which is B4, and shouldn't be there. So I'm going to kind of ignore that uh, quarter rest just to let you guys know, since it really shouldn't be there anyway, because it, sh it should have been replaced by this pick'em note, okay? So let's go ahead and name our notes. And one, and two, and one, two, three. B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, B, C, three. B, C, D, F, F, G, F, D, B, C, D, D, C, C, B, rest. Okay, and now let's hear how it sounds when we play it. And one, and two, and one, two. Now it's your turn to play O Susanna. Again, this can be found on page uh, 10, number 44. Let's look at the music. So this is pretty easy, uh, you guys. Uh, one thing I want to say, we're in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, that means um, the top number tells us there's going to be four beats in each measure. The bottom four is going to tell us uh, that the quarter note gets a beat. We do have a, a pick note, so make sure we're selling beat four instead of beat one. Okay? And this uh, quarter note... Uh, it's not supposed to be here because uh, this pickup. So I'm gonna ignore that uh, rest. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna play this at a slow, medium, and fast uh, tempo. Okay. I'm gonna move the microphone real quick, and then we'll get started. All right. This is the uh, slow tempo. This is. Uh, 74 beats and one and two and one two three Now we'll move it up to uh, 100. Okay. This is our uh, medium tempo. And one, and two, and one, two, three. And now our fast tempo at 120. Okay. And one, and two, and one, two, three. Rest. 
Okay, and that's how you play O oh, Susanna. Make sure you record this by Friday. I want to thank everyone who watched this video. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.